Only moments away from knowing all 16 non-winners. <laughs> to present this year's National Book Award in Fiction is Francine Prose, the panel's chair. Francine Prose is the current president of Penn American Center, an art critic, a prolific book reviewer, a writing teacher, a current president of Penn American Center. She's the author of the New York Times bestseller, Reading Like a Writer, and the wonderful short critical biography, Carvaggio, as well as 14 books of fiction, including A Changed Man, winner of the Dayton Literary Peace Prize, and Blue Angel, a final for the National Book Award. Finalist. <laughs> as well as Hunters and Gatherers, Bigfoot Dreams, and Primitive People. She has also written a collection of novellas, Guided Tours of Hell, and two collections of short stories. She has received Guggenheim and Fulbright Fellowships, two National Endowment for the Arts grants, and a Penn Book of the Month Club Translation Prize. <sighs> and the envy of Joyce Carol Oates. <laughs> She was a director fellow at the Center for Scholars and Writers at the New York Public Library. It gives me great pleasure, actual pleasure, to welcome Francine Prose. Thank you, Fran. I had no idea. Um, I thought that if I got up and talked about how much fun it was to read 300 books this summer, that only a few people in the room would actually believe me. I thought only former judges would know how truly glorious it was. So I thought instead I would talk about how, what a pleasure it was to work with my fellow panelists. We talked every few weeks and I found myself looking forward to our conversations. They were smart, they were lively, they were interesting. I often thought, um, this is how writers talk about books. And I often thought, I wish everyone talked about books this way. So I want to thank them. I actually know their names, but I was instructed to uh, thank them alphabetically, which was more of a challenge than I could handle. So I needed a cheat sheet. Andrew Sean Greer, Walter Kern, <laughs> David Means, and Joy Williams. Thank you. The finalists for the 2007 National Book Award for Fiction are Misha Berlinski for Fieldwork, published by Farrar, Strauss, and Jewell. <laughs> Lydia Davis for Varieties of Disturbance. published by Farrar, Strauss, and Giroux. Joshua Ferris for Then We Came to the End, published by Little Brown. <laughs> Dennis Johnson, Tree of Smoke, published by Farrar, Strauss, and Giroux. <laughs> Jim Shepard, Like You'd Understand Anyway, published by Alfred O. Knopf. The winner of this year's National Book Award in Fiction is Dennis Johnson for Tree of Smoke. I'm delighted and honored to accept this award for my husband. You may have heard he's in Iraq. And those of you who know him have been asking me if he might just be ducking this fancy award ceremony. <laughs> well, I'm here to assure you that that is only partly true. <laughs> he is on assignment, under contract, legitimately absent. And in his place, he has sent me with this envelope, and he's written on it, just in case. <laughs> I 
And the winner is? Naturally, I'm very grateful to the National Book Foundation for this award, and I'm very sorry to miss this one chance to dress up in a tuxedo in front of so many representatives of the world of literature and say thank you to the people who've given me my life. In particular, to my faithful agent, Bob Cornfield, to my patient editor, Lauren Stein, and to Jonathan Galassi, my favorite publisher, Above all, I'm grateful to my wife, Cindy Lee, <laughs> who makes it all possible. And Cindy, who have I forgotten? <laughs> well, the judges, to all the judges who voted for Tree of Smoke, thank you so much. And to all you readers out there, Praise God, there are still so many of you. Uh, oh, and finally, perhaps an apt counterpart to one of our nonfiction nominees, I'd like to thank God. <laughs> thank you, God. Thank you.